Hello ladies and gents, I am the Rev. Welcome back to more Starfield on a dark and dreary evening. Where we last left off, we are in the middle of the Freestar Rangers quest line. And Shadows and Neon. We're on a planet called Neon, or city called Neon. Now we gotta go talk to a ranger dude. The local ranger in here. Which is nice having a local contact so we can start missions and say try and just run around and figure it out. Don't move, Nesha! Sniffers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step. Alright. Oh, that can't be good. Shortages over at Reliant Medical. Not great. Doc Manning better get his act together before the God, how do you get there? Oh, psh. I could always look up and see it's the Freestar Rangers. That would help. Oh, yeah, here's the man hey, in charge. I don't care who you work for. You can't just. Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? The one and only. Well, the Marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets. Even from us. Yeah, let's be real nice to this you dude. You can count on my help if you play by the rules. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace and make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. Yeah, no, nah, dude, that won't cause no trouble. Good. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cause credits, nothing in Neon is free. Come on. Okay, I was just thinking. We got, yeah, we got a skill point, and I've been thinking about where I want to put stuff. Uh, and I think persuasion's where we're going to go first. Yeah. All right, homie. Pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. You learned quickly that a neon staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the marshal tried to recruit you right away. Yeah, because I killed him had quick. Would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here. You understand. Place, you? That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Keep that in mind. You'll fit right in. Wow. Their, their people take are still a little rough. Here, I'm just going to run through up here. Right? This is where we're going. Come on, dude.
Hey, Billy. Got a second? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of Goodman's people. Check. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? Hmm. Huh. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. Know what I mean? Mm, credits ain't really what I need. There is something you could do for me. Cool. I can help you. But right now my life is in danger and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Yep. Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. The only one that matters around here, the Sayoka Syndicate. They pretty much run the city. But that being said, rumor has it that Emmett Goodman is on the outs, so they might not miss him much if he were to disappear. Okay, so we can smoke him. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebside. Place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. Okay, so we can like, try to persuade him. That's one thing we can do. Not down. Ah. Right by where we go. We can kill him. And he's a gangster. I assume we could pay him off. Uh, we'll see what options he gives us. But I already had to get rid of my one dude for smoking. He didn't like it. I was killing people. I keep doing these until um, I get enough done so I can move up in the next level. Let's see. Oh man, this one's so much easier than the last one. Uh oh. There we go. Yep. I just needed to do it. I think that was the last one I needed. I can upgrade it now and then go after expert next. Ah. This is private property. You'd better keep walking. This is private property. Do you now? See? Yeah, I hope so. You go in, talk to the man, and then you come right back out. Mm -hmm. Try anything stupid, and it's your funeral. Yeah, this will get you in. Oh, sweet. Huh? I'm gonna just take like the longest way to get there. You better watch it. You should get out of my way. I will shoot your ass. I gotta ask for a bigger cut next time. 
douche. Okay. Something I can do for you, friend. No. <laughs> well, now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? Little light on credits, are ya? Yeah, it's that. awful kind of you to intervene on my behalf, but I think I have the matter well in hand. Thank you all the same for your concern. Well, if you're attempting to appeal to my good nature, you're proceeding under a false premise. You see, in my line of work, it doesn't exactly pay to be soft. What's your stake in this anyway? But you're making it my business. I have a legal right to collect what's owed to me. No law is being broken here. Crap. Which means I can't shoot him. Then offer me something I want, and I'll consider it. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Well, that ain't wrong. I got one turn left. This is a lot of credits we're talking about. Thank you. you come walking in here. Maybe it's time I... Hmm? Oh, I guess we are gonna fire. No one can kill <sighs> I was trying to find a way to get around it. But now I'm just gonna have to take everything. I am picking up. There is no I will assist you. Get out of here. You gonna get involved, Vasco? My oh, man. He doesn't have a safe or anything in here. Oh. Yeah, you guys aren't really all that scary. No, we're dying for this shit. No witnesses. There can be only one. And there can be no witnesses. Hmm. What are this guy's gonna do? Who's there? Help! Oh, now I'm lost and I don't know where to go. Okay, jeez. That took forever to get back here. Police. Three times now? Did you talk to Goodman? I didn't mean to put you in harm's way. I was hoping he'd come around when he saw you were a Free Star Ranger deputy. Took me about a week on the job to learn that doesn't usually work around here. Nope. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. 
The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit, and she's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Ooh, okay. I bet you're going too, huh, Vasco? It's the only time we get three people right now. Sucks about these guys and not putting little ma mini maps in so we can see what's going on. Look, I ain't gonna stand around here all Directions, day. Directions, I know. A freestar ranger and his. What are you? A sidekick or something? Well, I'm sure your mom is real proud. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. Let's see. Aww. Continue to try and be nice. Ain't you polite. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? Yeah, let's start with that. So I stole a ship. Nobody got hurt. I didn't even keep the damn thing. It was a contract. I was hired to get it for some men. Don't even know where it is now. It was just a job. Yeah. Look, they didn't tell me what they were going to do. How was I supposed to know they were going to go after some farmer? You should have asked when you took the contract. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No. I, I guess I didn't. Ooh, someone just got, you know, a little pucker going on there. I continue to, to try to be right. nice. I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. You know, yeah, I'm curious about this. <laughs> you serious? Take your pick. Money, reputation, the thrill of it. All good reasons. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. Not so much as a hint. I'll tell you. He's as cagey a fixer as I've ever met. Bankroll in the first must take a lot of money. I'm sure he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. Hmm. Yeah, the problem is, is she's not saying anything um, about the person inside the factory. No. Nothing at all. Left me feeling a little disappointed. 
given how well they paid me. Yeah. Kill him with kindness. Sure. Next time you're at the rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. Guess where we're going next. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone can crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, deputy. Then I'm free to go. <sighs> yeah, I'm not gonna... Be, I mean... Yeah, it's whatever. Oh. That dude Welcome. wants to send people after her. He can He's send people after her. Being so polite. Right, mercenaries and stuff. Okay, so. Hello. Hi. I don't want to talk to you. All right. Let's go here. Yeah. All right, folks. We're back. A year or two we gotta back, go upstairs. I which is always fun. At least I've memorized in here somewhat. Look who it is. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Yeah. yeah, I bet. It just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled systems by comparison. Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Oh, come to daddy, my sweet little mystery slate. I see lots of coffee and late nights ahead. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. It'll take as long as it takes. Mm. I can't rush a job like this. But one thing I can promise you, though, is that it'll go a lot faster if I don't have to answer silly questions. Oh, why should I? Nothing but dirt, cold air, and Asha waiting for me out there. I like my nice, cozy, antisocial office space much more, thanks. Have fun with that. Oh, I will. I guarantee it. Yeah, kind of a dick. Yes. New deputy, huh? Honor to have you. Thanks. All right, he should be... This one, I thought I was starting to get this place down. Nope. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Let's talk for a minute. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. Yeah, not doing too bad. Yeah, when I'm taking him down. Good. Stay focused on the task at hand and don't take your eye off the target. That's how a ranger should think. What did you learn from this starship thief? Now we're getting somewhere. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I could give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. They said she was a child prodigy, which probably explains her arrogance. Even so, she was fiercely loyal to Major Hull. I don't think she'd ever give him up. If you find her, don't expect her to cooperate. 
There was a mech driver in the 1st Cavalry named Marco Graziani. He came from money. And when the 1st Cav got a reputation as the top unit, he transferred in. Rumor was that bribes made it happen. Marco had a knack for getting hold of anything we needed. There was talk the family fortune came from smuggling, and I believe it. He had this dream to become a wealthy businessman when he got out. But I guess that got put on hold when they locked him up. All right, how can I help? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead has posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome, so be careful. Good hunting, Deputy. Hey, shoot first, ask questions later, maybe? Alrighty, folks. Well, I tried to run outside and the game crashed, so... I had to sit through everything again. We'll just go from right here. Thanks for joining me today. As always, keep your heads down. Yo, I guess single. The other dude's back in the old spot. And I'll see you again real damn soon. We'll have to decide which one of those we want to do first. So, tune in.